Hi, my name is Dr. Tim Marangon. I'm a lecturer at Salford Law School, and I've been asked to share a few thoughts about peer reviewing. I've had the opportunity to be both observed and act as an observer. And I just wanted to share um, one or two ideas, one or two views about what I felt worked and perhaps things that could be done a little bit different. Speaking as somebody who's been observed, I think there's a real opportunity for those working as observers to kind of think very, very carefully about the impact their thoughts and their views have on the person who is being observed. Perhaps it is the case that sometimes observers feel the need to be a little bit critical of those who are being observed. It's not uncommon perhaps to get the message that what you've done is good, but it's not the way the observer would have done it. So, for those of you who are in the process of thinking about observing somebody, think about this. Try not to focus so much on how that individual's procedure, how that individual's practice compares to what you've done. Try and view that within the context of what it is the individual is trying to achieve and the impact that individual has on their class. And if you think that that has been a positive experience, don't be afraid to share it with them. Don't automatically assume that your job there is there to sort of pick thoughts with what that individual is doing. Now from the observer process, I have always found that actually I find the process of being an observer a much more valuable experience than the process of being observed. And that's because as a naturally reflective practitioner, I kind of view the process of acting as an observer as an opportunity to learn from my peers, to learn from my colleagues. So it's not uncommon for me to try and take every opportunity I can to act as an observer just so I can go out there and see some of the good work that my colleagues are doing and then start reflecting on how I can implement their lessons, their ideas within my teaching. And I have two or three examples, thankfully, of good practice that I've taken from those experiences.